Hello, and li welcome to Living Simply and Fun, and we're on site while we're cooking brats again, uh, since they were fairly cheap this month, and that's two nights worth, and we're going to try some new sausages I'm cooking up for dinner tomorrow night, use the grill for two nights on one go. Um, I forgot the thing to cook the beans in, so we're cooking the beans in a can, and I'm going to try grilling some jalapenos to put on it too. I uh, don't know how that'll turn out. I wanted to do asparagus with a little salt and pepper and some olive oil, and then I was going to shred some Parmesan on it, but uh, I couldn't uh, couldn't find any good asparagus. Uh, it was all dried out and kind of wilted, so uh, that didn't work out for us. And uh, also, I didn't feel like now was the time to go and buy olive oil, which is kind of expensive. Uh, I'm waiting until I can get one of those mini jars, uh, you know, for like two dollars, because I'm not going to use much of it anyways. Um, let's see, the other thing I was thinking about doing was uh, polenta, which is like, uh, it, it comes in a tube usually. I, I don't know how to make it at home, but it's like a cornmeal type thing, and I was going to grill that up, but again, our store didn't have polenta either, so... Uh, surprising, not many people know what it is, but one of the people at the checkout st uh, counter knew exactly what it was. I think in the south they call it mush, because uh, my grandma used to like frying up mush, uh, which has tasted very similar to polenta to me, so I figure it's the same thing. Um, then uh, I think Aries was going to handle the topic of the day today, uh, so I'll turn it over to her. everyone to Angela happy birthday first yes and all, happy birthday first of all I want to say uh, today's topic is marriage now a lot of people think marriage is like the thing you do on TV you know where well it usually means uh, you get married you move in with each other you settle down and uh, you have a family and continue your daily life for the most part now Marriage, a lot of people think nowadays is marriage is like the Jetsons, the Flintstones, a happy-go-lucky marriage, or these TV shows. Marriage isn't, isn't that. Marriage is, you gotta, you gotta build on marriage, you know. Marriage is love, marriage is compromise, and marriage is change. A lot of people say, well, we don't like to change, we want to be a bachelor, we want to do things our way. And then they find out that sometimes change is good, you know, I mean... You want to sit and grow old, you know, that, that's the topic, alone, and, you know, uh, my mom thought marriage would be good for me because I won't grow old, you know, alone, and miserable, um, you know, I mean, when parents die, things change in your thinking, you know? Well, you know, marriage used to be that uh, a husband would get married, he'd do all the work, the wife would take care of the kids and do the cooking and cleaning. Nowadays, both work and usually leave the kids abandoned, so... Or they are being babysit by video games and TV. By the way, if you're not this close, they can't hear me because the volume... Well, then stop moving like this because you're not staying in the picture. Anyways, marriage is not about the ideal thing for television. Marriage is the things that's worked on, you know. And that includes compromise, that includes... Well, uh, marriage is changing a lot anyway. And anymore. there's a lot in the divorce rate, too. So you got to ask yourself, is marriage what you want? You know, do you want a family? Because if you want a family, for example, then you have to settle down and say yes and no. I mean... Well, it's a lot like living with a roommate. It's, uh, it can actually drive you crazy at times because you have to pick up on the quirks of your partner or significant other or roommate. Uh, where they might end up leaving trash around, or they might end up not cleaning their dishes after themselves. Or the, or a big pet peeve is the wife not sits there and flushing the toilet. No, yeah, flushing the toilet or not putting the toilet seat down, stuff like that. Wearing know? the same clothes for two or three days at a time. And saying, well, it's your job, hon, to do the laundry. Well, a man can take care of things as much as um, a woman. So. The bottom line is, when it comes to marriage, marriage is, you know, living together. Uh, and accepting those differences and things that we don't necessarily like. I mean, yeah, my sister got married and went to Alaska, but she always came down to check on mom and family. Um, my uncle got married to a disabled woman. He was disabled himself. He moved in, like I said, with my aunts. Or, uh, with, uh, I mean, my, um, what do you call it? My... Um, 
uncle ma uh, moved in with uh, my uh, uh, my aunt's, you know, uh, his wife's uh, mom. And then they moved to North Dakota, like I said in last night's video. And then eventually she died from obesity, I think it was, and moved back here to Central Washington. So if you look at the big picture, marriage can work both ways. I don't know how long-term marriage would work when it comes to long distance, but that's something that has to be explored. It should not be just said, oh, well, I can't, I can't live with a person because of this reason or that reason. You got to look at the options and actually compromise and uh, sacrifice at times, you know. And that's where things have to go. Marriage is compromise and sacrifice. Aaron, do you have anything to say? Uh, I don't know. I, I think I've kind of covered it on the fact that it's changed a lot. I mean, back in the 50s uh, or 40s, 30s, etc., uh, families oftentimes. Uh, didn't even uh, live in the uh, have same beds. Uh, women started sleeping in the same bed with their husband uh, like 10 years after that, like 1940s, 1950s. It started to change. So things have changed a lot over the years. Uh, the, however, in the past, uh, women used to sleep in bed with their husband, and then it kind of changed somewhere about 1880 or 1870 to, to being separate beds. Uh, there was a point in history where married couples usually didn't even share the same house. Uh, it depends on where in history, etc. Uh, so oftentimes the woman would stay living with her parents and the man would work and uh, provide for the wife and the, her family. So, uh, as I said, things are changing and there's always ways to work things out. No matter how complicated something might be, exactly. That's but sacrifice more than likely, in our current uh, current time frame, most people don't want to work out anything, and they just break it off. And I'll say a lot of times it is founded because men can't keep it to themselves, and they have to go find somebody else. But women do the same too. And uh, on top of that, uh, sometimes there's just no time for each other, and then it's like, well, you never have time for me, etc. But that's the way our society works anymore, too. So, anyways, that's all I got to say. And I think Aaron took the words out of my mouth. So, for the rest of you out there listening to this topic today of living simple and fun, yes. just think about marriage, you know. I mean, what do you want out of your marriage, you know? And then work from there. The marriage is the foundation to make your But to life have a good life better. you have to have a good marriage and to have a good marriage you really have to be accepting of each other's differences and how to make things work instead of just trying to blow it off because you can't figure out how to make it work. Um, it's not complicated when you look at it. I mean at it that obviously way. people get married because they fall in love with each other but oftentimes I think today people fall in love for the wrong reasons but that's a topic for another day. Exactly. So with that said I'll hand it back to Rita. With that said, thank you. Please add and subscribe if you like. Please post comments in the box. And thank you, you so much. And there's Moppy. Have a nice day, everyone.